I must break you. Hey, well, it's um, April. It's like April 12th, Monday. And have you heard this? Have, have, have you heard the news yet? Has, has somebody already sent you the video? And you, and, you, and you haven't checked it yet? Vladimir Klitschko has done something that has to or needed to be done in the heavyweight division. Everybody's been waiting for that one moment. That one moment to make the heavyweight division relevant again. And I think he's went above and beyond that. And I think you could see this coming after the or toward the end of the Chambers fight. He's he's on a mission. He's heard about his chin enough. He's you heard about fighters saying that they are going to beat him or stand a chance against him, and then when they fight him, he dominates them. And Chambers tried to run, much like Kevin Johnson did against his brother, and he stopped him. In Big time fashion. Uh, I don't know. If he woke up yet. I don't, I don't know if Chambers is really officially awake. I think he's walking around in a fog. But this is something that the heavyweight division needed. And if you haven't seen the video, check out the link in the sidebar. Things over here. I'll put it up there so you can watch the YouTube video. And I mean, it is. If it doesn't get you pumped up and excited to see Vladimir Klitschko versus David Hay, I don't know what can. I mean, it's great seeing the smaller guys fight. Andre Berto just did a did a number on uh, Quintana. Yeah, did you like that? Did you see that Quintana doesn't move his head, man. He took a lot of she got knocked out. Anyway. Do you want to see that prediction? I did that one a little bit ago. But this is something that the heavyweight division has needed and is here. And he called him out, dude. <laughs> I mean, there's, you know, there, you don't do that unless you are thoroughly ready to whoop someone's, you know, backside derriere, whatever you want, trunk, junkin' trunk. Whatever you want to put down, mud stomp, curb stomp, all of it. Unless you're willing to do that. And that was the one thing I've said about Hay. If you look at a lot of, or not Hay, but Klitschko, that I've said in a lot of the videos, is he fights and he fights a controlled fight and he does just what it takes to win. He doesn't fight with the edge of his brother. But something changed in that Chambers fight toward the end. And something's changed now. He's doing something that he's never really he's never done before. He's going on and and calling out David Hay. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. If you don't take the fight, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's flip it on the other side. Because a lot of you are already probably typing and I haven't even finished the video. And you're already saying, If you man and David Hay, I love him. You're just a hater. No. David Hay has looked very well in his last two fights. Now, he ate a lot more jabs in the Ruiz fight than I would like to have seen him eat. But in his defense, he did suffer a cut while training, and he was unable to spar for four weeks going up to that fight. So that showing was pretty good. And there's a reason why he was a little bit gassed. But I'll tell you what, he better pray that that is not his problem in the fight leading up to Klitschko. He would better be as fit as possible. And he looked a little slow, but like we said, he didn't get to do that ring training. He didn't get the ring rounds in. Those are different, man. Those are those are a different animal. So, you know, maybe that's the case. He he bashed Valuev. But there's a reason why Valuev never fought the Klitschkos. And that's because they knew that the Klitschkos would beat the they would rough him up. So it's out. The gauntlet has been thrown. David Hay has said he wants to retire in 18 months at 31. Here it is. The ball is in his court. What's going to happen? You see what I'm saying? It's here. You wanted it. You got it. What are you going to do? You know, it's like 
man, I wish that girl would talk to me. God, I wish if she would come up, I got so much game that I'm going to lay down on her. And then she does. And you're like, <laughs> you see what I'm saying, man? Now, it, now is the time. Step up. This could be huge. All right, I need to calm down. I apologize for that. I was getting carried away. But it's about time that the heavyweight division had something that got us a little bit jacked and we're like, you feeling me? All right. Well, hey, just throw that out there. Give me your comments. Give me what you think about this. How do you think it's going to play out? We know about his jab. I did an older video on uh, uh, prediction for this fight. Some things have changed, but I think the outcome still stays the same, um, as as I predicted in that video. So maybe I'll do a renewed video or an, a, an updated version. I mean, there's not much has changed, but there is something. But the outcome is the same. Yeah. So what do you think? Are you throwing all the eggs in the that hay band wagon that? Hey, he looked awesome in a, against Veloev. He rocked him, and he did something against Ruiz that only Tua has done with that power. I mean, we saw the power, right? You saw it. He he touched Ruiz a, a couple times. He lost a point for a rabbit punch, but hey! Hey, hey, hey. So, I don't know, I'm a little giddy about it. A little excited. Wanted to throw this out there. Wanted to give you the link. So you can check it out and uh, get back with me on the comments. What do you think? How soon should this happen? Yeah. All right. Well, hey, it's a big ragu. I'm out. As soon as I can find the button.